Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film are some uh, additional options with regard to creating a roof. What I'd like to show you with this is uh, show you how to use a different option besides the pick walls option with regard to drawing things out. And this would apply to roofs as well as, well as floors and sometimes walls. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and click on the roof that I already made and go ahead and delete that. Go to our level one uh, plan and let's uh, initiate the roof command just like we did before. So go to the roof button on our home tab. Now we're going to choose the default setting, and we're instead of level two, we're going to go to the roof level, just like we did before, and go to yes. What we're not going to do is go to the pick walls button. We're going to go to the line button, and we're actually going to start picking lines. Our offset uh, defaulted back to zero, so we're going to change that to two feet. And you notice that when we start picking our lines here, we're going to pick the exterior line, where the line that represents the exterior portion of our exterior wall, and click that over. You notice that that line offsets by two feet kind of neat. does that automatically. And because we have the boundary line option set up here under a draw uh, panel, it's going to connect those lines as we uh, put them together. So you notice when we drew that line down, that vertical line down, it connects it up top. Kind of a very convenient thing to do. Draw this line out. And if we did escape here just for demonstration, uh, what we have are three lines out of the five lines we need to draw. Out of the six lines we need to draw, we need to draw some additional lines. So we can go back and do that. So we're going to click on line again. It's automatically going to assume a boundary line. And this time, what we're not going to do is, like, perhaps by mistake, not put in our two-foot overhang. We're going to make a correction there. So because we have two different lines in here, what we need to do here is trim. And what we need to do up here is extend. So this is a good opportunity to show you the trim extend tool, which is up here on the modify portion of the home tab. I'm going to click on that. Connect these two lines, and a very similar amount, we're going to connect these two lines. So the first two lines that we connected was an extend command. These two lines that we're going to click on is going to be a trim command. It's going to trim out the top of that uh, magenta line. If I do this right, there we go. Okay, we want that two foot overhang. Instead of drawing that line again, what we could do is select that line, move it out, move it out the two feet. There's our uh, listening or temporary dimension. Click on this line, move that out two feet, and click on this line. We're going to move that out two feet. And that should complete it. We've already changed the, the or I showed you how to change the pitch on the, on, the, on the other roof, on the other roof example. I don't think that's quite what we want. Not quite there. We want to change that dimension, put it over here, perhaps, and then move that out by two feet. It did change. You had the ability with the tab key to change things like that. But I'm not going to change the slope on this one just for demonstration. I changed it on the other one. But we're going to go to the green check mark, complete that roof, go to our 3D view, and our project browser, and there's our roof. It's a generic roof. Again, if you want to change that to uh, the other roof type, you can do that just by clicking on the roof, highlighting it all. You know, it all gets highlighted and chosen if it turns light blue, and that's all ready to go. So join me in the next uh, film. We'll show you how to do an extruded roof.